Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick gaming demo for the new Google Nexus 7. So without further ado, let me go ahead and get down to playing some Dead Trigger. Uh, as you may have noticed, the lights are dimmed, and that's really just to ensure that you all have a fantastic view of this gorgeous 1920 by 1200 IPS display, which not only has the highest pixel density of any tablet on the market, but at least in my eyes, to my eyes, it certainly is one of the actual best displays I've ever seen on a mobile device or otherwise. So again, without further ado, let's get down to business. Do a little aiming. Hopefully you guys are getting a fairly good idea of what the audio quality is also like. Extreme close-up. All right, so I'm getting getting a little bit beaten up, but I'm gonna take out the rest of these bad boys. I think that really does serve the purpose here for today's uh, demonstration because I could take you through even more gaming, but really what it comes down to is that I think this reestablishes that Google and Asus have not forgotten the gaming arena when creating this incredible package. So for those of you unfamiliar with what you're getting, uh, whether you pick up the 16 or 32 gig capacity of this tablet, I will remind you quickly in closing. So the uh, price points are 230 and 270 respectively. The storage is not expandable, so uh, do keep that in mind. That's probably the only compromise, in my opinion, when you pick up this brand new Nexus 7. Because when it comes to the actual screen, as you may have just noticed in this video, you're getting one of the best displays I've ever seen on the market. Uh, very little backlight bleed, uh, backlight bleed, if any, and that is a critical thing. No dead pixels for me, so quality control seems fairly solid, as I mentioned in my last update, uh, as does the gaming, as you may have just noticed. Uh, also, that Qualcomm S4, as we all have learned, is really an underclocked S600. So that's a great quad-core chip at this price point. You then have two gigs of RAM, which is even faster because it's supporting that brand new chip. So that's another great thing, DDR3 RAM, that's going to outperform much of what's out there. So not last-gen hardware going into this tablet in order to cut corners and increase margins. You also have, as I mentioned, either 16 or 32 gigs of internal storage, NFC, dual-band Wi-Fi, which has been solid without a question, and you, beyond that, have a front and rear camera. I know a lot of you were waiting for a rear camera, so now there's nothing really that can be said this tablet is lacking or missing, in my opinion. It really is a very well-rounded package. You even have inductive uh, or wireless charging. So with a Qi uh, certified pad or dock, you can charge this tablet without ever having to plug it in, which many will deem a gimmick, but I think is just another cue of Google setting standards with the Nexus brand. And I think that will come through with this tablet. I said that in my previous update, but I want to reiterate that. So a, an extraordinarily powerful tablet at, a, an ex, at an extraordinarily palatable price. And so far, gaming is yet another area, just another thing you can check off on your list that the Nexus, the new Nexus 7, the second generation, handles with ease. So that despite the fact that the relationship is severed here with NVIDIA, I would have liked to have seen a Tegra 4 in here, the fact remains that the Adreno 320 
uh, still holds its own, at least right now, in the current arena of Android gaming. I do think that the Shield, the launch of NVIDIA's Shield uh, console, is going to usher in a whole new wave of Android gaming because, quite frankly, it's the only device that uh, truly will bring developers to the table, in my opinion. No matter whether it's a success or a failure, it's going to be a start. So that's another good thing for this tablet. It really does represent uh, the best portable console outside of the Shield that I think you can pick up and take with you and at a similar price point because the Shield is $300 retail, again, $230 or $270 for this tablet. Really $230 for the same 16 gigabyte comp uh, comparable uh, model to the Shield. Again, that's a very broad, sweeping uh, comparison I did right there, but uh, it really is a great little console if you start taking into account emulators and all the things you can do with this great uh, 1920 by 1200 res screen. If you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. And of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.